There are moments in science when the universe whispers something so faint, so brief, that you almost wonder if it happened at all. Four seconds. That's how long the Hubble Space Telescope observed an anomaly next to the interstellar comet known as 3i Atlas, a visitor from beyond our solar system, traveling through the void between stars for possibly millions of years. Four seconds of data, one unexplained object, and then nothing. No follow-up observation could find it. No other telescope confirmed it. The object simply ceased to exist, or at least ceased to be detectable by any instrument we've pointed at that region of space since. This isn't a story about aliens. It's not a conspiracy. It's about something far more unsettling. The possibility that our universe contains fleeting phenomena we are only barely capable of witnessing. Events so transient, so rare, that catching them feels less like science and more like catching lightning in a bottle. So what did Hubble see? And more importantly, what does it mean that we can't see it anymore? To understand what happened, we need to go back to December 2019. That's when astronomer Gennady Borisov, using a telescope, he built himself in Crimea, noticed something unusual in the night sky. It was moving fast, far faster than typical comets or asteroids that orbit the sun and its trajectory was wrong. Not elliptical, not bound to our star. Hyperbolic. Within weeks, scientists confirmed what Borisov suspected. This object, designated 3i Atlas in preliminary reports before being formalized under other catalogs, was not from here. It came from interstellar space, the third confirmed object of its kind ever detected, following 1i Umuamua and 2i Borisov. But unlike Umuamua, which baffled scientists with its cigar-like shape and unexpected acceleration, 3i Atlas appeared at first, refreshingly normal. It had a coma, a glowing cloud of gas and dust. It had a tail. It behaved like a comet. In fact, initial observations suggested it was composed of materials similar to comets in our own Kuiper belt, hinting that planetary systems across the galaxy might form in surprisingly similar ways. It was a traveler, a relic, a snowball from another star's nursery, cast into the dark and now passing through our neighborhood on a journey that would take it back into the abyss. And that's where the story should have ended. But in April 2021, during a routine follow-up observation as 3 slash Atlas continued its outbound journey past the orbit of Mars, the Hubble Space Telescope captured something else. Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3 was tracking 3i slash Atlas as part of a long-term study on outgassing behavior, the way comets release gas and dust as they're heated by the sun, even at great distances. The observation sequence was standard. Hubble locked onto the comet's nucleus. Multiple exposures, spaced minutes apart, designed to capture any changes in brightness, tail morphology, or fragmentation events. But in one four-second exposure window, something appeared. Not on the comet, not part of its tail or coma. Next to it, approximately 1,200 kilometers away from the nucleus, a short distance in cosmic terms, but far enough to be distinctly separate, a luminous point source materialized. It wasn't a star. Stars don't appear in single frames and then vanish. It wasn't a cosmic ray strike or detector noise. Those have distinct signatures that are easily filtered out by Hubble's processing algorithms. This was something else. The object registered in multiple wavelengths. It had structure. Analysis of the luminosity, the brightness, suggested it was either extraordinarily reflective or emitting its own light. Spectroscopic data, limited as it was from such a brief observation, hinted at an unusual emission line that didn't match known cometary volatiles or reflected sunlight. And then, in the next exposure, taken just minutes later, it was gone. No trail, no debris, no fading glow, just absence. When anomalies like this appear, the first instinct isn't wonder, it's skepticism. Dr. Lena Petrova, a planetary astronomer at the Space Telescope Science Institute was part of the team reviewing the data. In an internal memo later shared with collaborators, she wrote, 
Our initial assumption was instrument artifact. Hubble has been in orbit for over 30 years. We know its quirks, but this didn't fit any known pattern. The signal was clean, repeatable across detector reads, and positionally stable relative to the comet's nucleus, meaning it wasn't a random background object. The team ran every diagnostic they could think of. They checked for satellite glints, sunlight reflecting off Earth orbiting debris or active spacecraft. None were in the field of view. They cross-referenced asteroid and comet databases. Nothing matched the position or trajectory. They examined archival Hubble data from the same region of sky, taken months earlier. No object had been present. They requested emergency follow-up time on Hubble and coordinated with ground-based observatories. The Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii, the very large telescope in Chile, even radio arrays like ALMA were queried. Nothing. The object, whatever it was, had not reappeared. When something defies easy explanation, science does what it does best. It builds models. The most conservative explanation is that 3i slash Atlas experienced a sudden localized fragmentation. A chunk of ice broke off, briefly outgassed in a flash of sublimating volatiles, and then either disintegrated or became too faint to detect. Comets do this, we've seen it before. Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 famously broke apart before slamming into Jupiter. Comet 73P slash Schwassmann-Wachmann 3 fragmented into dozens of pieces during its 2006 apparition. But there's a problem. Fragmentation events leave trails. Even if the fragment itself becomes invisible, the dust and gas it releases should remain detectable for hours, even days. Hubble saw none of that. The object appeared and vanished with no transitional phase. Dr. Yuki Tanaka, a cometary physicist at Kyoto University, offers a variation on this idea. What if we witnessed a micro-outburst? A pressurized pocket of volatile gas erupting from beneath the surface. If the geometry was just right, and our line of sight caught the ejected material at peak luminosity, it might appear as a distinct point source. And if the gas dispersed rapidly in the vacuum of space, it could fade below detection threshold within minutes. It's plausible, but it requires a very specific set of circumstances. The odds feel low. Here's where things get stranger. What if 3i slash Atlas isn't traveling alone? Interstellar space is not empty. It's filled with dust, ice, and potentially countless small bodies ejected from their parent star systems by gravitational interactions. When a large object like 3i slash Atlas passes through interstellar space, it's possible, though rare, that it could gravitationally capture smaller bodies, creating a temporary binary system. Imagine a tiny moonlet, perhaps only a few meters across, orbiting the comet. If it entered a chaotic tumbling state and caught sunlight at just the right angle, it could flare brightly for a few seconds before rotating back into shadow or moving out of Hubble's narrow field of view. Dr. Marcus Delgado, an orbital dynamicist at ESA, explores this further. The challenge is stability. For a companion object to remain bound to 3 slash Atlas across interstellar distances, the orbital mechanics would need to be extraordinarily precise. Any perturbation, a close stellar encounter, radiation pressure, even the comet's own outgassing, could disrupt the system. But it's not impossible. We found binary asteroids, binary Kuiper Belt objects, why not binary interstellar travelers? Why not indeed? But again, the object didn't reappear. If it were in a stable orbit, we should have seen it again. And then there's the hypothesis that no one wants to say out loud, but everyone is thinking. What if it wasn't related to the comet at all? What if the proximity to 3i slash Atlas was coincidental, and we witnessed something far stranger, a transient phenomenon that exists in the space between stars? Invisible until some unknown, unknown condition is met? The universe is filled with things we've only recently begun to understand. Fast radio bursts that last milliseconds and release more energy than the sun emits in years. Gamma ray flares from magnetars. Hypothetical cue balls and strange lits predicted by quantum field theory but never observed. Could there be optical transients too? 
brief, luminous events that flicker into existence and vanish, occurring constantly across the cosmos, but almost never witnessed, because they require a telescope to be pointed at exactly the right place, at exactly the right time. Dr. Amara Okonkwo, a theoretical astrophysicist at Caltech, suggests, We tend to think of space as static, but it's not. It's seething with quantum fluctuations, particle interactions, and electromagnetic phenomena we're only beginning to detect. If something, say a collision between interstellar dust grains at relativistic speeds, or a microscale reconnection event in the interstellar magnetic field, produced a brief flash of light, we'd have no way of predicting it. We'd only see it if we happened to be looking. Four seconds, one frame, a cosmic blink. There's something profoundly humbling about this. For all our technology, our space telescopes, our supercomputers, our global networks of observatories, we are still, in many ways, children peering into the dark with a flashlight. The universe is not obligated to reveal itself on our timeline. It does not wait for our instruments to be ready, our theories to be complete, our funding cycles to approve follow-up observations. It simply is, and sometimes, if we're lucky, we catch a glimpse of something extraordinary. A glimmer, a whisper, a four-second anomaly that reminds us how much we don't know. Think about what had to happen for us to see this. 3 i slash Atlas, a wanderer from another star system, had to pass through our solar system at precisely this moment in human history, a window of barely a century in which we possess the technology to detect such things. Hubble had to be operational, functional, and scheduled to observe the comet at that exact time. The object, whatever it was, had to emit or reflect light in that four-second window when Hubble's detector was open. And we had to be paying attention. If any of those variables had been different, if the observation had been scheduled a day earlier, if Hubble had been pointed elsewhere, if the anomaly had occurred in the 1800s or the 22s, we would never have known it happened. This is the fragility of discovery. And it's beautiful. So where do we go from here? The data has been archived. The images are available to researchers worldwide through the Mikulski Archive for Space Telescopes. Teams are still analyzing the spectroscopic signature, comparing it to known phenomena, running simulations. There's talk of developing AI-driven monitoring systems that can scan archival data from Hubble, JWEST, and other observatories, looking for similar transients that might have been missed or dismissed as noise. Because if this happened once, it's probably happened before. And it will happen again. The upcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory, set to begin operations soon, will survey the entire southern sky every few nights. It's designed to catch transient events, supernovae, asteroids, anything that changes. If objects like the one near 3i slash Atlas are out there, Rubin will find them. The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, with its wide field of view, will peer deeper into space than ever before, capturing not just static images, but the dynamic, ever-changing cosmos. We are entering an era of time-domain astronomy, where the universe is not a fixed photograph, but a living film. We will see the universe happening, and perhaps, in that flood of data, we'll find answers, or at least, better questions. The object next to 3i slash Atlas is gone. We don't know what it was. We may never know. But that's not a failure. It's an invitation. An invitation to look closer. To build better tools. To remain humble in the face of the unknown. Because the universe is not a puzzle to be solved. It's a mystery to be experienced. And every now and then, it offers us a glimpse behind the curtain. A fleeting, four-second moment when the ordinary rules seem to bend and we're reminded that reality is far stranger and more wondrous than we ever imagined. 3i slash Atlas is now beyond the orbit of, Ju of Jupiter, heading back into the interstellar void. In a few decades, it will pass beyond the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence fades and true interstellar space begins. It will carry with it the memory of our curiosity, our telescopes, our wonder, and somewhere, in the data we collected, in the questions we asked, in the four seconds of light we captured, there's a truth waiting to be understood. Maybe not today, maybe not in our lifetimes, but someday, because that's what we do. We look up, 
We ask why. We reach for the stars, even when they vanish. Especially when they vanish. If stories like this fascinate you, if the idea of fleeting cosmic mysteries and the edges of human knowledge make you feel something, then subscribe. The universe has more secrets than we have time to tell them, but we're going to try. Because somewhere out there, right now, something extraordinary is happening. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be looking at exactly the right place at exactly the right time.